Hi, let's look at what an execution architecture is, as opposed to what it's not. Now, we'll start with the, the uh, proposition that an execution architecture is a model of an actual computer system that implements the uh, theoretical solution to the problem. Um, it necessarily is a, a physical system. Um, the architecture caps, captures the components that exist at runtime. Now, these are largely subsystems, components, and threads. I'll have more to say about threads later. The execution captures the dynamics of the system as opposed to the um, static um, objects and relations between them, um, characterization of it. So the execution architecture really is concerned about uh, what happens when you turn this thing on? What, what actually goes on? So how does information move about the system? How does the system itself respond to different circumstances? Now, to get from the conceptual architecture to the execution architecture, most of the time, or most of it, is, is a matter of aggregating objects into some sort of coherent components and subsystems and deciding which components should be COTS components, that is, things you buy, and which components you need to develop and determine the communications among them. Now, simply buying components, uh, for example, a, a commercial framework or a library such as .NET or um, JTVE, uh, or buying a database, which is a fairly common thing to do, that then puts some um, implementation constraints and concerns on this architecture that you're designing. So these things become, um, uh, I, I guess, uh, constraints of, of the fact that it's a computer system. And that is a practical consideration for implementation, as opposed to the, the conceptual theoretical one where you didn't have to worry about these things. The, uh, probably one of the more important things you have to do with an execution architecture, because this is a place you do it, is you organize the components and organize the structure of the architectures to, um, to get the best trade-off you can among the required non-functional characteristics. So uh, sometimes you find, for example, that um, security, which, which tries to restrict access, is uh, tries to trade off against usability, which tries to encourage access. Or performance trades off against modifiability, or some of the concerns of scalability um, oppose some of the concerns of performance and um, uh, other trade offs like that. So these are the concerns that you'll, you'll be um, reconciling or you'll be balancing when you implement a execution architecture. But to review that again, an execution architecture is the solution to the problem implemented as a computer system.